parts of speech. Hey Elvis, I was wondering how do we know that we are using the correct words for someone to understand? Yes, we also want to know about this. Can you please explain this to us, Elvis? Sure, why not? In any language, we use words to speak or write. We arrange the words in a proper way to make a sentence so that other people understand. In English language, there are eight kinds of words. All of these words have been given a name. Together, they are called parts of speech. We know them as noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. To find out the name of a particular word, we need to know the nature of job the word does in the sentence. First of all, let us know about noun. A noun is the name of anything in this world. Be it person, place, animal, thing idea or emotions. For example, Jimmy is playing. Sia likes apples. People are going to church. Peacock is dancing in the rains. I love my car. Our cat gives us joy. Here, Jimmy, Sia, Apples, People, Church, Peacock, Rains, Car, Pet, and Joy are nouns. Now comes pronoun. A pronoun is a kind of word that is used in place of a noun so that we don't repeat the noun. For example, I like Mr. Brown. He is a pilot. Here, Mr. Brown is a noun. In the second sentence, we refer to him as he. So, he is a pronoun. You are an honest man. Emily is a girl. She is beautiful. Bring the key and give it to me. They are running. He bought a bicycle. It is blue. We are watching them. Here, I, you, he, she, it, they, we, me, them are all pronouns. Some other pronouns are mine, your, their, her, him, etc. Then comes adjective. An adjective is a kind of word that describes a noun. It is mostly used in front of or before a noun. For example, I saw a white swan. Here, swan is a noun. The word white describes the bird and tells us what color the swan is. So, white is an adjective. 
Some other examples are Beautiful girl Young boy Big ball Many birds Round table Sweet mango Loud music Rainy day Blue sky Salty water Verb In simple language, verb is an action word. It is a kind of word that tells us what a noun is doing. Almost every sentence has a verb and usually it comes after a noun or pronoun. For example, Emily is dancing. Here, the word dancing is a verb as it tells us what the noun Emily is doing. Let's see some more verbs. Mummy baked a cake. Here, baked is a verb. Omar will shout. Here, shout is a verb. The dog is jumping. Here, jumping is a verb. The horse trotted. Here, trotted is a verb. Now comes adverb. An adverb is a part of speech that gives more information about a verb, an adjective, a clause, and sometimes a whole sentence. For example, my father drives carefully. Here, drives is a verb. Carefully tells us how father drives. So, carefully is an adverb. Sia dances gracefully. Here, gracefully modifies the verb dance. So, gracefully is an adverb. Let's go to the doctor tomorrow. Here, go is a verb and tomorrow tells us when we will go. So, tomorrow is an adverb. Jimmy tried harder. Here, tried is a verb and the word harder tells us to what extent Jimmy tried. So, harder is an adverb. Let's know about preposition. Prepositions are small words that are used to link or show relationship between nouns and pronouns in a sentence. They sat on the bench. Here, on links the words they sat and the bench. So, on is the adjective. Let's see a few more examples. The cat is hiding under the table. We are sitting by the riverside. Sam drove to the club. The train went through the tunnel. We are searching for our dog. Some other preposition words are Off, along, across, around, up, within, at, behind, beside, below, in, into, until, since, onto. Now comes conjunction. Conjunctions are the type of words that join two or more words, phrases or sentences. For example, Omar likes bananas. Omar likes apples. Here, instead of saying two sentences separately, we can join them by the word and. Omar likes bananas and apples. Now this sounds better. Some more examples can be bread and milk, Tom and Jerry. She was very kind 
So I gave her a flower. I asked for juice, but he gave me milk. My cousins went to the beach and had fun. Now comes the last part of speech, interjection. Interjection words are usually sudden or spontaneous. They express feeling, not the meaning, and is followed by an exclamation mark. For example, Wow! Hooray! Oh! Hello? Oops! Ouch! Huh? Etc. Wow! Elvis, that was so interesting! Yes, we enjoyed today's class. Thank, Thank you so much, Elvis. If you like our videos, please do share and subscribe to our channel.